everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with our Wayfinders pack and I can hear an elk somewhere in the distance actually. Uh, but yeah, so it's been a little while since we've hung out with Aiden and Raven. Don't you guys worry, they are doing fine. Uh, all is actually going pretty well with them. They managed to bring down a moose calf last time, which was not easy, but uh, they were able to pull it off. So uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a little bit intense, but uh, it's definitely is possible to do, especially on the challenging difficulty, and as, as probably especially, especially on easy. But uh, these guys have been wandering around. Oh, we've got a mule deer carcass too. Is that one that we killed? I can't actually remember. So it's been a little while since I've uh, played with these guys, actually. If you guys have seen some of my recent channel updates, I've been going through some stuff. Uh, things are a little bit better uh, at the moment, but uh, yeah, I did end up taking a break from YouTube for about a month, and I'm just now getting back to it, so... Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit unsure of where we, where we pick, where, where we left off last time. So, uh, we are going to be continuing on with these guys though, and I actually want to talk a little bit about them. So, as for Aiden and Raven, uh, a lot of their story has centered around the explorations. In fact, that's where the name of their pack comes from. They're the Wayfinders pack. They kind of, they branch out into the and explore the new things as they're added, and. Um, I honestly feel like we've explored a lot of Wolf Quest with them, a lot of what's in Wolf Quest 3 right now. So, what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean that Wayfinder's pack is necessarily going away. In fact, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing an awful lot of these guys over the months to come. Uh, let's hunt, <laughs> because why not? Um, but yeah, I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot of these guys over the months to come, and they're probably going to be a little bit more persistent even than uh, the Wildfire pack, because what I'm going to end up doing with them is I, I, they might get a little bit... Oh, what am I seeing up there? Oh, I'm seeing a mountain lion. <laughs> let's not, uh, let's not mess with that. And there's a wolf up here. Who is this? This is... I don't know what wolf this is. This is... It's not a moose. I'm on moose tracks. Uh, it's a very angry wolf, apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and return the uh, the hostile tail there. This actually looks a lot like Raven, but I don't think it is. It's a male dispersal. Um, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's... That, that's, that's, not, um, that's not anything... Um, Anything submissive. Okay, that's Raven. It's 8 Mile Pack. Okay, that's who, who it was. We'll leave him be. But let's see if we can find... Not the moose tracks. I want to go back and find more of the mule deer tracks, possibly? They went right through this way. Oh, they kind of intermingled with the moose. That's what happened to him there. Uh, but anyway, so we're not going to see the Wayfinders Pack go away. We're not going to really see them properly go on hiatus. What we are going to see is their episodes becoming a little more sporadic because right now I feel like we've covered quite a lot. We might try to take on, well, maybe we'll try and take on a bull elk at, at some point too because a lot of you guys wanted to see us try that again with some different tactics. Apparently the way we did it is likely to get you pretty hurt and so we might want to try that again. But other than that, we've explored a lot of what is in the game. So we're going to see these episodes probably get a little bit slower. And we're actually going to go back into Lost Tales. So I'm going to be putting together some more Lost Tales challenges. And we're going to resume with those in Wolf Quest 3. Now, Season 2 of Lost Tales is probably going to look a little different. We're probably going to have longer series. and probably going to be 8 to 12 episodes rather than 4. And, uh, of course, they'll be taking place in the new game unless we specifically have a challenge for the old one. Uh, again, this will kind of help um, fill in the gap between now and Slough Creek when we'll be resuming with our proper playthroughs and continuing on. But we're not going to stop having Wayfinders episodes entirely, and I think what we're going to end up doing with them is just having them be more tied to updates. So these guys are going to not have scheduled episodes, such as the fact that we've normally been airing episodes, for example, on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, or on Saturday and Sunday, or on Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever. They're not going to be on a strict schedule like most of my series are. Uh, they're going to just get an episode whenever <laughs> there happens to be new content to explore. So if we get a new animal, we're going to have Wayfinders. If we get uh, any, any new uh, gameplay updates, we're going to get Wayfinders. If we start getting any any of these new little updates or whatever, 
we'll explore them with the Wayfinder pack. And that's, uh, that's kind of going to be what their, their story is going to look like from here on out. So they're not going to go on a proper hiatus. They're just going to be a lot more tied to the actual update schedule of the game, which we really don't know exactly what that's going to look like right now. And it's kind of just whenever the team finishes, whatever they're working on, they push a new update. So I may not do a Wayfinders episode for every patch, but you can bet I'm going to be keeping my eye on the patch notes. And whenever something new is added that we want to check out, hold on up a minute. This is the notorious slough territory, isn't it? I just recognize this place vividly from the old game. So we're right at the edge of the old game map, I think. This is pretty much, uh, this, this is pretty much the edge of where we could go. And, um, if we run right up here, uh, this is like the hill that we could run up. Now, it's kind of funny coming back here because this place holds a lot of memories. And if you guys remember way back to season one of Wolf Quest, this territory here right beneath these trees, and I think just a little ways out from them, this is actually where everything began. This is where our founding parents first met. Tarot was actually from the Slough Pack and uh, he met Katari right about, right, right, right around in here somewhere. So I don't know if Aiden really recognizes that, but he is running through the very same fields where his ancestors once roamed. And that's pretty awesome, honestly. That, that's really pretty cool. Uh, I love how you can still see like the old map. We've got, we've got the trees there. there. There's still remnants of the old map. There's not everything. So like some of the trees themselves have changed. Is this just the carcass? I think that's just the carcass. There's coyotes here. Let's let's chase this punk off. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, give him a little bit of a warning bite. He's already on the run. We're not gonna kill him. That would be a lot of a lot of work for no reward. But Aiden just wants to make sure that he knows to not uh, not stick around. Um, I don't think Dead Tree is still in the game, which makes sense because everything's been updated to be a little more recent, and a dead tree that's just sitting there would have fallen down and rotted away a long time ago. But these ponds are here. This is, I think, the bear pond, if I'm not mistaken. And there's another one just over this hill, I think. Is it? Am I remembering this correctly? I thought there was another pond. Yeah, right over here. So yeah, that's the bear pond. We definitely had some challenges there. We had Lost Tales challenges uh, there as well. And uh, this is the little bit larger pond, so that's still there. <laughs> and of course down here would be the territory of the Notorious Druid Pack. And if we actually run out into these slightly shorter pine woods where you can see the trees change a bit, that's actually the burn area, which was where a big fire had swept through in the old game. So a little bit of a tangent here, but I just love how you can still see the old game in the new one, but at the same time, it's different. It's grown. It's changed. It feels like time has passed and time has passed. Um, and of course, I think all of the old packs are no longer to be found in this map. I think actually all of them have since dispersed. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know the Druid pack did. That one uh, ended up disbanding. And I think there are still descendants somewhere in the uh, Yellowstone Wolf packs. But um, that one did end up uh, uh, breaking up at one point. I'm going to let these guys sleep. They're getting pretty tired. But... Yeah, it's, it's just cool to see how, at the same time, things are so similar, but also so different. Oh man, and we've got, uh, we've got some dreams here. So we've got a dream of wolves howling and then a bison and of beavers. Beavers are coming to the game. Uh, of ravens in the snow, of bears. Uh-oh, that's a bit of an ominous looking one. And we didn't quite get to see what that last one was. It kind of faded. Uh, I wonder if something woke them up in the meantime. Raven's just chilling out. Raven's still tired, perhaps, but it looks like there's actually an elk carcass up here somewhere. Oh, maybe it was the bear passing by that uh, that woke them up. They caught a whiff of that. In fact, uh-oh, there's... It looks like a grizzly bear with cubs here. Yeah, you can see there's a sow grizzly and cubs up here. I don't know, you guys. I get the sense that Aiden probably wouldn't be able to resist poking his nose up here. Uh, who is this? This male dispersed wolves. I wonder if that's 8 Mile again. Although it looks like maybe the bear scent was a little bit old and has since faded away. Okay, who is here? Who is this? Male dispersal wolves. Is this 8 Mile again? Did the pack go back down this way? Yes. 
I'm gonna just check out and see who it is. There's a moose here. I don't think these guys have any interest in taking on a bull moose. Well, you know, for science, what happens if we try? Uh, ow, okay, 75 damage with one hit is a little bit crazy, and I don't even think we hurt it. So yeah, I think Aiden, Aiden got a little bit overconfident, but pretty quickly learned that that's not, not gonna be worth it. So they're gonna leave the, the bull moose alone. <laughs> But maybe we'll try and take on a bull elk if we can track down a herd. Because I think you guys were saying that throat bites are more effective and that wasn't what we were trying to do before. So if we can heal up, get to full health, and then find an elk herd, then uh, we'll actually try and do that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I ran into a tree. Um, but so I think... The Wayfinders pack is definitely going to be changing a little bit. Again, we want to continue to use them for exploration more so than uh, an ongoing story. They've kind of reached the end of what I see their story development in this part of the... Or in, in this chapter of the Wolf Quest story. We've, they've kind of reached the end of that, actually. The fescue herd is up here. You know, maybe let's... Pahaska, oh... This is an old rival. What's she doing here? She's sitting and looking at the stars, it looks like. She's not- oh, she's just resting. These guys have chased her off several times, but you know, honestly... I think she and Aiden have kind of developed a, a bit of a healthy respect for each other. Aiden did end up killing off her sister, which wasn't really intentional, but her sister kept fighting long after she should have run. And in an attempt to chase her off, Aiden ended up killing her. And since then, Pahaska 19 has been a little bit, a little bit more chill about things. And I think that, um, I think that she and Aiden have kind of reached a truce. Aiden's not out to hurt her, and she generally seems to leave the Wayfinders alone. So they're not too, um, not, not too much of a... Oh, Raven waking him up with a grin. That's so sweet. But yeah, they're not really, um... Is it underbody? Yeah, it's underbody. Okay. They're not really... Oh, she rolled over. But yeah, they're not really enemies. They're more kind of just like rivals. It'd be kind of interesting to, uh, to maybe take a look at her story at some point, honestly, too. I mean, she's not part of the main storyline, but we have some time. And, you know, that would be an interesting thing to kind of explore perhaps the stories of some of the other wolves that we've met along the way. We certainly have had quite a few, after all. Uh, quite a few interesting encounters. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and eat over here, maybe? Or actually, you know, let's just track down the raspberry herd, because... I do want to try and take on a bull elk, but uh, anyway, that's sort of what's been uh, going on with her. <laughs> She's not really an enemy as much as someone we keep encountering, and all across the map, too. I'm surprised at how far she ranges. It seems like a lot of the time we run into the same wolves in the same area. What is... Oh, that's the carcass. It just looks a... Uh, it looks almost... It looked almost bear blue to me. And uh, I thought maybe there was a coyote and a bear together or something, and I was like, what in the world? Why aren't they fighting? But it's just a mule deer carcass. That makes more sense. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised to see how far she's wandered. She's crossed a lot of the map. She is very much a wanderer, and uh, it's been interesting to see how she keeps popping up in a very strange way. It almost seems like her story is somehow tied to Aiden's. Like, somehow, despite... Um, Despite, despite all their differences and the fact that a lot of the time they've wound up as enemies more than allies, maybe somehow they're connected. Maybe her story is meant to run in tandem to, uh, to the rest, to the Wayfinders pack. Perhaps she'll end up playing an important role in the future or, or something. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see. Um, she may end up being a character in our stories later on. We'll, we'll have to find out. I definitely do want to branch out a little bit more, and because we are kind of drawing to... I wouldn't say the end of Lost Tales, but because we're... Like, we've, we've had so many stories, we are definitely... I think we've, I think we've had more stories than we have wolves left to stories haven't been told. So we might have the chance to branch out a little bit more and uh, explore some extras here. 
and especially as we're still waiting here we might have the chance to do a little bit of that so we'll see there's a lot of there's a lot of storytelling options now in uh in, in wolf quest 3. so what have we got here we've got the raspberry elk herd it looks like this is a normal herd i'm not seeing it saying bull herd so we want to just track them down, but we are going to try and kill the bull and see if we can manage to do that. I'm not sure if it'll be possible or not, but oh, they're all running up here. But we're going to give it our best shot and see if these guys are, are going to be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, so there's been, you know, I think that's one of my favorite things about Wolf Quest 3 thus far has just been the sheer number of stories that can emerge. So if we run in... All right, how much damage? Only 13, and we're doing 30? Actually, that's... That's not bad at all. Oh, Raven might take some more damage, though. Oh, and we've actually stopped him. All right, we're only doing 15 damage there. Oh, the legs are not a good place to buy. Actually, though, if we can run in and do the 25 damage like that without getting shook off, this might be doable. It actually might, and I think we might have been a little hurt the last time we tried. Oh, no, I didn't want to be back here. Although, oh, there's a... Why is the cow elk... Did she run in and attack us? Maybe... I I don't know. That was a little bit weird. But let's try to get around side of this guy and see if we can continue to run in. Because we actually have damaged him pretty severely. With two wolves, it might be possible uh, if Raven will join in. And she didn't really help us much last time, too, which I think also played a role. Um... But if she's more proactive in the fight, which it looks like she might actually be this time, then uh, that will help us as well. Oh, she's definitely going after it. Maybe she senses some sort of weakness. Maybe this is an older bull who's been kind of kind of weakened by the um, by the rut, perhaps, uh, by fighting to maintain leadership of his herd. Uh, because the fall is the time when uh, the bull elk will all come together and and fight, basically, and or at least a lot of. Um, a lot, and a lot, of, a lot of species will do that. I think the deer do that as well, if I'm not mistaken. But that's why you can find bachelor herds, too, that are just bull elk. They're kind of the ones that are looking for an opportunity to run in and usurp, perhaps. So maybe this guy got a little bit hurt in uh, in the struggle and um, is not, not looking so, so great. Maybe he's a, a little bit weaker than a lot of them have been. It, it's kind of hard to say if we can get a good throat bite too we might actually actually you know what i think we're going to be able to do this unless we really get hit oh he's now he's starting to damage us a little bit more um yeah we got to be cautious all right let's back off a little because they can do some serious damage if they uh if they decide they want to but if we can keep him from from really hurting us Aiden's getting a little hurt though, so we gotta be real cautious here because I do not want him to, uh, like, I don't want him to actually end up dying or anything here. Oh, he did not, he's not get. oh, we've got him down, we've got him down. Oh, come on, oh, Aiden, pull him down, keep him, keep him on the ground, keep him on the ground. We can do this, we can do this, we're out of stamina, we can do this. Raven, help! We're so close! Raven, what are you doing? <laughs> Raven, please! Did we get him? Yes! Okay, so it actually is. You guys were right. So before we ended up actually attacking him more from the rear, but uh, it is actually possible, it looks like, to hunt a bull if you go for more the the front of the body and the neck and the, the um, kind of the chest area. So that's very good to know. Let's go ahead. We'll give it a howl. I feel Aiden is probably pretty proud of himself right now. He tends to, uh, he tends to let his victories go to his head just a little bit. Raven's gonna join in though. She also does. Oh, there's an eagle back there. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully he doesn't get too, uh, too overly confident from this. Raven is hardly hurt, although she also didn't help us that much. She did, she did help though. I think Raven's got a little bit more sense to her than Aiden. Aiden is sometimes like, hey, let's do this. This is a good idea. And Raven's like, are you sure? And then if it doesn't turn out to be a complete disaster right off the bat, like the bull moose, then oftentimes she will, uh, she will come in. Oh, look at her. She's sleeping on the carcass. <laughs> She's gonna guard the kill. They both are. Um... But, uh, yeah, oftentimes if it doesn't turn out to be as terrible of an idea as she feared it might be, she will run in and help Aiden. And she does have quite the fighting spirit herself. Coyotes? Not today, thank you. Who's this? Who are these? 
Who are you? No, you don't get to steal our kill. These are quadrant wolves. I don't actually know them, I don't think. Have we encountered them before? I don't remember them being notable. <laughs> um, are they on the run? They are not. Let's get them to get out of here if we can. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, race in and try, try and intimidate them a little bit. Raven's getting chased. Aiden is a little hurt right now too, so these guys are maybe thinking they'll take advantage of him being a slight bit injured. Uh, and I don't think Aiden and Raven are really out for the kill, but they don't have, they, they, they're, not, they're not opposed to killing if they have to. Uh, if these wolves don't um, back off when they should, then yeah, that could be a lethal mistake. The Wayfinder's pack isn't ruthless, I would say, but um, they certainly can hold their own when they need to. Hold up, is this guy, no, he's still here, okay. I want to go back to this one because this is the one we're kind of focused on right now. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna try and chase him off if possible. The other one's not too scared, but this guy's getting, a, a little bit intimidated. As well, he should be. Oh, he's on the run. Are they both? Yeah, you better get out of here. <laughs> this is not your kill. Oh, it's a fox. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and give it a, a, a little nip just to make sure it knows who's boss. Uh, Pyrrha might be kind to the foxes, but Aiden, not so much. And may I just say that Raven certainly can be quite ruthless when she wants to be. She has, uh, she surprised us quite a few times with her fierceness, especially when we were first courting her. She certainly showed that she had no hesitations about uh, protecting Aiden when it came down to it, and he returned the favor. These two are very strongly bonded, I would say. They can be a bit of a fight-me couple, and, uh... I certainly don't think they're gonna have any issues standing up together to defend their pups when need be. Oh! Oh! That's more wolves than before! Who's... Who in the heck was that? Who was here? There's Cinnabar 33M. He actually seemed like he helped them, possibly. Like, he, he chased- they, the wolves chased each other off. <laughs> that or they were just scared of the Wayfinders. That's probably what Aiden's thinking. He's just going, huh, they're all scared of us. They know who's boss here. But that was a little interesting. There was some inner pack conflict uh, even outside the um, these two here. Uh, there there was something, something going on between those packs, it looked like. And they managed to actually scare each other away rather than, um, rather than us having to fight them off. But uh, I think it is actually about time to wrap up the episode, so we're going to go ahead and do that here. Do not worry, we will be back with more Wayfinders, but uh, again, we're going to be kind of switching off our regular schedule, and um, we're going to be making it a bit more on an update base. So we might have a few more episodes, I'm not too sure, I have, to, I have to think of things to do with them. If you guys have more ideas of things you might like to see with them, then let me know, because maybe we'll do a few more episodes just kind of exploring things and exploring the different aspects of Wolf Quest 3. But otherwise, we're gonna be transitioning back into Lost Tales pretty soon and starting off with some brand new uh, wolves to vote on and some brand new challenges. So for now though, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.